This is one of the world's most advanced trains. CP Rails, unit train. So called because it stays together as a unit to haul a single commodity, coal. It represents a tremendous breakthrough in railway technology. At Sparwood, in the Kootenay area of BC, the coal moves from the mine by conveyor through processing plants to the train. Giant silos hold the coal until the train is placed, ready for loading. Specially designed gondola cars carry 105 tons of coal each, four times their own weight. For loading, the engineer puts the train on automatic control, and a mini computer keeps it moving through the silo at a predetermined speed. Each car and its payload is weighed on the move, while an electronic scanner reads the car number from a color-coded label. Another computer records the tonnage. With a 10,000 ton payload, the train starts its 700 mile run through the grandeur of the Rockies. It moves westward in the Mountain Creek area, climbing through some of Canada's most spectacular scenery. Then across the Stony Creek Bridge on CP Rail's main line. On these grades, the engineer has eight locomotives under his command. Four at the head end, plus another four robots in mid-train operated by remote control. Three more locomotives are pushing for a total of 11 diesels. The cab is equipped with special radio panels to relay commands to the unmanned robot locomotives. A new electronic system adapted from space-age rocket technology. CP Rail pioneered the robot system in Canada for its cold unit train. It takes 32 hours for the train to go from Sparwood to Roberts Bank, through tunnels and along the edges of mountain lakes. As this train heads for Roberts Bank, a second train is loading back at Sparwood. A third unit train is at the port being unloaded. Several unit trains are now in operation, boosting the CP Rail System's annual volume of coal shipments to more than five million tons. Unit trains now operate 345 days of the year, leaving a cushion of 20 days to meet unforeseen demands. The speed picks up as the train heads toward the Pacific coast along the Fraser Valley. It's pulled now by just two diesels at the front and two robots farther back. The schedule is tight as the train approaches the access line to Roberts Bank, 20 miles from Vancouver. Moving slowly now, the train eases toward giant rotary dumpers at the ocean terminal. Gently, the engines move through the rotary dumpers, where a new form of motive power takes over. Special automated machinery moves the train ahead exactly one car length. To empty the coal, the entire car is turned upside down, rotating within the dumper.
out tumbles 105 tons of coal destined for Japanese steel mills. It takes about 100 seconds to dump a car without uncoupling it from the rest of the train. At this rate, the entire train load, 10,000 tons, can be unloaded in less than four hours. The full 1,400 mile cycle from mine to port and back to the mine is just three days. A tremendous amount of planning, research, and technology developed this railway system to move huge quantities of Canadian coal through Canada to our newest deep water port. CP Rail invested $38 million in new diesels, coal cars, robot equipment, and improved track. Roberts Bank, a super port, handling both super ships and super trains. This total system means a new market for Canadian coal, more jobs, more payroll for Canadians, and an economic boost that could mean $4 billion for Canada over the next 15 years. Thank you.